Hello Capricorns and Happy New Year! Alright, so I'm excited. I am doing all these videos before the new year begins, but when you see them, it will be the new year. So hey, I'm tapping into the new year energy and what is to come for you guys. Hmm. Sorry, I'm not distracted. I'm just trying to put this cards back in here because I just finished up oh, another video. So I had to reshuffle and put the cards away beautifully. Now it is your turn. So I'm going to start with one of my favorite decks ever, the Earth Magic deck. So let's get started and see what messages I have for you. Now the first message that I have that I actually got intuitively before this reading was be patient. So. With that, I feel like you needing to be patient with the process, okay? For some of you guys, um, I'm also hearing you needing to be patient with the changes that are coming. For some of you, you may, I'm also hearing healing as well for some of you guys. Any other things that they need to be patient with? I'm hearing yourself, okay? Alright, so let's get into this reading and see what beautiful messages God has for you guys and what you guys have to look forward to in 2022. Whoa, jeez. Dang. God is just moving so fast and crazy today. Let's see what we got. The first card out, we have the wolf, the instinct. Yes. Okay, so for some of you guys needing to follow that instinct, that natural instinct is what I heard specifically. Natural instinct. Your intuitions, as God is trying to speak to you about certain things, you need to listen is what I heard. We have diligence, okay? Diligence meaning you needing to be aware. I'm hearing you needing to be aware of your surroundings. You need to be aware of trusting people and their intentions. Use your instincts as you maneuver through relationships. Okay, also I'm hearing as you build new connections, okay? We have the communion card. So this is one of many messages that you're going to get in the next year pertaining to people close to you. Okay, I'm also hearing this could be family or family might be telling you this about someone that you are close to. This could be a friend of some sort, okay? I'm hearing the word frenemy, okay? Alright, frenemies. Yeah, then we have the release card. So there might be someone that you need to let go in your life. Yeah. I'm hearing an old friend that is no longer suiting you. You're no longer on the same wavelength is what I heard. Okay? If that makes sense. Like, y'all are not on the same level. Like, they're thinking about certain things. And you're on a whole new path. And I'm hearing they may not be going with you. But it all depends on their growth, their level of growth. Is, I don't know why I keep hearing levels, like levels. Okay, maybe I'm getting, if it's work, you might like, you might have like a work friend relationship. However, that might change if you get a promotion or something like that. You know what I mean? So things might be a little bit different between the two of you. That's what I'm getting with that. If that's a friend work relationship others of you this is a friend that you've known for years and they may think differently or act differently towards you depending on what your career is or what it is that you are working towards at this time okay for some of you guys with this tree grounding coming here I feel like you're working on your stability trying to grow and uproot I heard grow and uproot new things in your life new ventures as well and again some people may not be growing with you but you needing to go down the same path and for some of you guys you might be i'm hearing a lone wolf so you might be on this path by yourself and that's okay that's okay no worries then we have the childhood innocence so for some of you guys yes this could also be a friend that you've known for a very long time and you know that relationship may have run its course is what I'm hearing because you're no longer in that childlike state of being 
or understanding in the way that you're seeing things may be more mature than this other person or vice versa take it how it resonates with you then we have the forest the breath this is where the patience also comes to play because you need to be patient if you are still working with this person or still wanting to work with this person and it's so weird I don't know if you look at both of these pictures well I'll put it in the way that it came see the first one it looks very fiery it looks very passionate right then you see the second one it looks very calm so I feel like for some of you guys maybe you're in a more calm headspace than you once were um, when you were younger and this person that you were connected to knows you more in that energy but going into this new year I don't feel like you guys are connecting on the same level yeah you're not really connecting on that same level because there's a lot of change with the shape-shifting card things are changing flowing and moving with the wind as they do and I feel like you're going along this road very very calmly trying to think logically as well on how to plant roots and what to do using your intuition and instincts as you move forward into these changes okay then we have the love and compassion card underneath all of that I feel like there's a lot of love here between you and this person I'm also hearing a lot of understanding for some of you guys you don't want to abandon this person you don't want to just leave them behind because of where you are in life so some of you guys may also need to be very patient with this person as they are growing and then others of you might just have to release this person depending if they are very negative or not um I'm, I'm hearing the word toxic so if this person is very toxic you might just need to release them out of your life just period um if that's what's best for you i'm hearing you both specifically you know but um with that childhood innocence card as well i'm thinking like you're kind of coming from a place of innocence you know, not really wanting to hurt this person or feel like you're better than them or any of that sort. But you just feel like they bring a lot of toxicity and I'm hearing the word baggage maybe even into your life. Now, I'm going to pull from the butterfly card. Da -da -da. The life changes. So let's see what life changes are actually coming for you guys. Let's see what other changes are coming in. And let's try to get out of that energy. Okay. One more time. And I'm going to see what messages God has for you guys out of this beautiful deck as well. Alright. God, what messages do you have for the Capricorns? What messages do you have for the Capricorns in 2022? Wow. That's crazy because like I said before look at this sobriety for some of you guys like I said You may be going down another path now Where that old friend was very like party party whatever and you're trying to slow things down be more calm And I feel like that could be a change that's coming in for you guys really working on yourself Yeah, sobriety then we have self-employment. Wow I'm hearing take the I can't even speak taking a leap of faith towards this new venture maybe this is something that you really wanted to do and like i said earlier this may cause a lot i'm hearing the word hatred this may cause a lot of hatred jealousy from other people because they see that you are growing and going to new levels and that could be a problem for some people around you with that jealousy look at that then we have to take the next step now so now is the time for you to really get started with building that solid foundation that I spoke about earlier and really go towards these dreams, these goals, but in a way that you're also doing it very logically and planning out your next steps, okay? Then we have, you are stronger than you know. Yes, you are stronger than you know. I'm hearing and they know it too, okay? There's people around you that see your strength, see that you are growing. Some of them want to be a part of this but not for the right reasons is what I'm getting but that's okay because at the end of the day you are needing to just be true to yourself 
not only that, but just continue to make better changes and decisions as you move forward in your life. So that way things are going to get better for you. And I feel like it's okay, you know, and that's why you also need to be patient with the process. Because sometimes things, you know, take a while to get started. But I feel like it's now time for you to really take those steps towards building this whatever it is that you are working on for some of you guys i'm hearing the words computer automotive books yeah literature for some reason novel all right <laughs> i'm also hearing venture capital which is really weird i don't know where that's coming from but those are a few different things that some people are working on i'm also hearing investments some of you guys are getting into investing, stocks, bonds, things of that sort. I'm hearing <laughs> ETF, CTA, type of stock, bonds um, for you guys to invest in. I'm also hearing the words lottery, lottery ticket, winner for some of you guys. Okay. Hey, some of you guys are going to get a nice win. 500 or more is what I just heard. I'm um, hearing 200 or more for some of you guys. Alright, God, what other messages do you have for the Capricorn? Gratitude. Gratitude and miracle. Okay. Wow. Some of you guys are pregnant unexpectedly. Or will be in the next year. Okay. That's so weird. I don't know why that keeps popping up in a different reading. Do we have expansion? Yeah. Some of you guys are growing your family. Some of you guys are growing your business. Some of you guys are also expanding your mindset. There's a lot of growth coming. We also have rejection here. So maybe some of you guys are fearing rejection or allowing this fear of rejection to stop you from going after your dreams and your goals. Okay. Then we have the guilt card here. Some of you guys are needing to forgive yourself for something that you've done in the past. You may be holding on to this guilt, or this could be someone close to you. One last message for the Capricorns, please. Whoa. I flipped when I heard. Grief. Some of you guys are needing to let go of something that no longer... I'm hearing something that no longer is. Okay. Maybe some of you guys were rejected by someone in the past, but you're not seeing the miracle in this. Okay, because this is a good thing for you that this happened and that they rejected you. I'm also hearing the thing that they say, um, God's rejection is your protection or something like that. Some, some quote, but it is pretty much is what it says. <laughs> pretty much what it says. So I feel like whatever rejected you, whether this be a job or someone romantically, it's for a reason. And this is going to help you really go down the path that you are meant to. And as I say that, I'm drawn to like looking at the back of the cards. When well, you're going down this path, some of you guys, it is alone because you are starting that business by yourself. Wow. And look what just flew off the table. Recovery. Okay. That is part of what you're going to do now. And you're going to recover by releasing, releasing this person releasing what has happened in the past no longer holding on to guilt or regrets or feeling like you could have done better and that's not the truth because look at that it's destined to have been this way <coughs> <coughs> oh excuse me and i feel like with this destined card popping up here this is all going to help you in the long run Really be with the person you are meant to be with as you've seen those two people next to each other on the same level. Okay, then we have the creation card. And this is all part of not only your destiny, but how God has created this plan for you to really work out. But with you holding on to things, that's going to block you. So what you need to do is look within yourself and allow yourself to heal from whatever wounds. I'm hearing the word wounds. Whatever wounds you still have within. And allow this, I'm hearing this knowledge. Allow the knowledge that you are learning from the past to really push you forward into your future. 
That's such a beautiful message. Thank you, God. Thank you. Whoa. All right. Now I'm going to pull a positive message for you guys. To wrap up this beautiful reading. One of my favorite decks. So pretty. So pretty. And it has my favorite colors, which is purple. Purple. I love purple. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Let me drink some tea while I'm at it. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm drinking some tea with this new um, almond milk that has almond milk with honey flavor. Vanilla almond milk with honey. It's so good. So good. And it goes perfect in tea. Mm -hmm. Yummy! Alright. <laughs> Enough about that, but let's let's see what beautiful positive message God has for you guys to wrap up this reading. I just feel okay, this is definitely a sidebar, but I just have to do it. I just feel, you know, so blessed to be able to do this type of work, to be able to help people. That's something I always wanted to do, and maybe some of you guys did too, you know what I mean? Um, or, I'm hearing for those of you who really want to help people, there's so many ways for you to get involved. Um, I'm hearing donations isn't, isn't it. For some reason, that's what I'm getting. I'm hearing you need to donate to yourself to create this business or this vision that you see fit to help others. Because that is an investment worth investing in. Donations are a good thing. Absolutely. I'm not saying they're not. But it's time for you to invest in yourself more, okay? Not in a selfish way. Not in a selfish way, but in a self-loving way. Or in a way that's going to help other people as well, okay? Alright, let's see. What positive message do you have for the Capricorns? Oh! Okay, that part. My vibes speak louder than words. Yes, they do. One last card, please, for the Capricorns. One last card. Oh, yes. I find deeper meaning and personal growth amid the discomfort. Yes. Some of you guys, like I said, whatever was troubling you in the past, it is definitely time for you to heal and to grow from that. And going into this new year, I feel like you are really going to be in this beautiful healing energy, okay? Not only are you going to be focusing on yourself, but I feel like some of you guys are really going to go, get into this place where you are healing others. So beautiful Capricorn. This has been your reading. Thank you.